What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Reaction Monday. So, today we are reacting to the worst things you can do if you're late for school. Because, you know, sometimes you may be running late for school, and, you know, you don't want to be late for school, so you probably do the dumbest thing you do. Maybe speed to school. Maybe, you know, go, like, drive through a building just to get to school. I don't know. You name it. So, we're going to check out and see what is the worst way to get to school when you're late. As always, link in the description to the video itself so you can go watch it, support the creator, and all of that. So, without further ado, let's get into this video, shall we? On April 29th, 2022, Vernon County Sheriff's Office received several reports about a speeding vehicle in Westby, Wisconsin. What I say? A gold Speed SUV was allegedly Speed traveling school. 70 miles per hour in a downtown area and had been passing other vehicles in both the right parking spaces and the left oncoming lane. About 10 minutes later, the Coon one. Valley Police Chief observed the suspect vehicle traveling 106 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone. Holy shit! 146 call across, he came into town 106 miles an hour and I'm uh, respawned at County Peak. 106? Never mind, he pulled over 900 block, 900 block, central. Damn! Upon approaching the vehicle, he noticed the driver holding their license out the window. The driver was identified as 35-year-old Amanda McCaig. 106. Turn the car off and step out right now. S turn the car off and step out. Why? Why? Step out of the car. Who are you? Step out of the car. 146. Step out of the car. Right now. Get out of the car. Okay, I don't know how legal this part is that the officer is doing. What, do you have a fob or what? I don't know. I'm trying to comply. You're trying to what? I'm trying to comply with you. I'm what, your compliance is going to be getting out of the car. I'm not going to get out of this car. Okay, you are under arrest. For what? For reckless endangerment. For what? That's a felony crime. Who am I endangering? Come out of the car. Who am I endangering? Obviously your kid right there. Who am I endangering? Your kid? Please explain that to me. Step out of the car. Please explain to me I'm endangering. Step out of the car. Please explain to me you I'm endangering. Okay, let's pause real quick. Because mother over here seems to not realize the situation she is in. One, she's asking... Who am I endangering? Obviously, your hey, your fucking kid right there is who you're endangering. You're going 106 in a 30 mile per hour speed zone. You can't expect to just, you know, here's my here's my ID. Give me a ticket. All right, I'll go. Like, come on, you're not. You can't expect that to just go the way you're thinking it's going to go. You're obviously going to, you know, get. Take like be asked to get out of the car, get under be under arrest for reckless driving, especially when you're when your kid's in the car. Like shit. I'm no police expert in this kind of situation, but I mean how I see it, that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know. Let's continue on with mother over here. Are you taking me to jail right now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So do you have an identification with you? I'm sorry, I didn't catch what you said. Catch what I you just said. told you his name. What's his name? Anthony Lucas, and he does not have an engagement. And okay. you're not going to arrest him. Who am I in danger? Where, Where are you coming from today? What? My house? Driving to school. 146, Vernon. 146, go ahead, Ted. Driver's last name is McCaig. I'm, I'm Mary C. Charles K. King A. Adam I. Ida G. George. First Amanda. Can you give me a ticket so I can get to school, please? You're, I really don't have time for this. You can't expect it. You can't expect just to. <laughs> that was good, though, wasn't it? I'm civil white man. I'm civil officers. I don't have time for school I'm trying to go to work I'm not going to your jail I just want the ticket please no the reckless driving please going way know. over the speed limit when you get out of the car and hand me your keys we can move forward I don't have keys 
You have a fob. No, I don't. You have something that operates this vehicle. Yeah, I do. You're right. Okay. I don't have it on when me. When you get out of the vehicle, we can move I forward. I don't have it on me. When you get out of the vehicle, we can move forward. While he waited for assisting officers, Amanda quickly turned the car back on and put it in drive, pushing hard on the accelerator. Don't do it, lady. I'm going to stand here. Don't do it. Ouch. God. 146, 1033, 1033. Do you have your help? Yep, officer. You don't. Can you copy? Yeah, no. Can you get off me? Please. After that, I, I definitely think she has to go to jail. Get on the ground. I'm with you. I'm not kidding. Get on the ground. As he attempted to take her into custody, a bystander assisted in handcuffing her. Yeah, um, unlock my or unlock my doors from the driver door. Go to the passenger side. I have a pair of handcuffs down in the. Okay. Okay. So how I'm seeing this, like I said, I I'm no expert in this area. All right. I'm just saying how I see it. So please take this with a grain of salt, because I know nowadays people get on you for how you see things. Like I said, take everything I say with just how I see it, all right? So how I see it, you know, this whole situation probably could have gone down a whole lot easier, you know? The lady could have gotten out of the car, you know, got out of the car, probably just gone to jail, or maybe you got maybe got a ticket. But, you know, because how we saw, she was reckless driving. She was very much speeding over the speed limit, and then, and then refusing to just get out of the car, and then just attempt to drive away from the scene. It's like, lady, if you just got out of the car, just cooperated, it probably would have just gone a whole lot easier. Maybe you could have got a ticket, I don't know. I don't know how officers are, but like I said, that's how I see it. And then, you know, if you did all that, you want to be on the ground getting ha handcuffed. I mean, that's how I see it, like I said. Don't get mad at me, please. I'm not fighting you. On my belt's on the floor. I'm not fighting you. And now the kid <laughs> probably feels very embarrassed and upset that this has happened to him. I'm not fighting you. What is this happening? Put your hands behind your back. Thank you, sir. Can you get my radio out of the street there so it doesn't get run over? Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Put your other arm behind your back. Put your other arm behind your back. I'll take that other side. Thank you. Appreciate that. Excuse me. Just stay on the ground. Stay on the ground. I feel bad for the kid, honestly. 146, you can uh, slow down back up for 1095. 104, 181, and 22 copy. Are the smartest people? Officer? 181 year old. Okay, officer. Whatever your name is. Lady, why didn't you just people? listen to what he was just saying? I'm getting, I'm getting invested in Coon Valley. All I asked was the ticket. I'll need 20 here. I won't need 181. You think you're going to get a ticket died. just for that? Reckless driving. Reckless and probably endangerment of a minor, most likely. But that's my guess. I'm on my arm. Um, more shit. Go ahead. Search me. Go ahead. Look at that. I'm we're doing everything to the team. While the chief spoke with the passenger, Amanda interfered and made threats toward him. 
No, you don't do threats. You just make it all worse. Rated M for Be right back. All right, we're back. Let's see where this is heading to. Like I said, it all could have gotten a lot better. Maybe. An identification with you, sir. Yeah. You hear me, officer? Do you hear me? Officer! There's a book in my car that says Kool Grand Coons are the smartest people. What's going on today? Are you her brother? I know, yeah. Is she upset about something? Oh, that's her brother. You, you or her or both of you? Uh, her and me. Okay. She's recognizing that she needs some mental help? Yes. Okay. She said she was going to go Saturday. She's been off her meds for two months. She's been off her meds for two months? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate that. I'll give this back to you. I just have your driver's license, okay? I'll keep my hands visible. Yep, I believe that. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. And are there any weapons in the car? Yes. What's what's the weapon? A Bowie knife and a duffel bag. Appreciate that. Once she was placed in the back seat, she started ripping tape off a box. <laughs> oh come on, lady! Don't do this. You're making it worse. Reckless endangerment. You're not getting a ticket. After everything that's just happened, you're not getting a ticket. 106 miles an hour. She uh. She was passing cars left and right in Westby. Can I get the ticket and go now? No. Get out of here. No, you are not getting a ticket Officer. for that reckless ass driving. Officer. Shut up! I'm asking you a question. Put some flex tape on her mouth. Good job. How do I get out? Can you give me the ticket so I can leave? Please? No. Sorry, you're holding me up. I'm trying to get to school. And you're arresting me for no reason. Are you diagnosed with any No, wait, disorder? what the I don't know. fuck? Are you supposed to be taking any medications? I don't know. She came in at 106 miles an hour. She's going to school. Huh? She's going to school. She's late? Yeah, apparently. See? Apparently. Um, when I got her out of the car, he uh, decided to tell me that she was going to go get some mental health help. Oh. Um, she's been off her meds for two, two months. So. I managed to, she was going to take off on me again when I was standing in the open door. Oh, for real? She turned, turned the car back on and put it in gear. She wouldn't give me the key fob. So I got on her lap and <laughs> took over the car and out she came. Uh, whatever works. Yeah, I mean, back. whatever works. She's arrested in the back. Who are you in charge of? Fuck. What's that? Who are you in charge of? Reckless endangerment. Came in at 106. The radar was just oh, screaming. Going to school. See, don't go, don't, <laughs> don't speed. Don't you it always drive that fast? Hold on. What I find funny too about all of this is the fact that in the beginning of this video, I said, you know, whenever when you're late, you're either going to be speeding to school, or probably go through buildings. And this one, she sped. I predicted what the hell was going to happen. But I mean, I guess it's also probably obvious too. I'm sorry. W let's continue. On the way to school, she wanted her ticket and let me go. Um, no, thank you. You haven't been traveling to my shit. Um, when I arrest somebody, I check whatever's on their person. That's good. I'll be doing everything by law. Like what you see, my knee hurts now. Thanks. You ready to let me go yet? No. You ready to let me go to school? You're going to jail. I'm gonna give you your identification back. You doing all right? 
Did, were you a little bit scared when she was driving? Or? Not really. Did she drive like this often? No. Did it seem dangerous to you what she was doing out there? I don't know. I don't drive. Okay. You got your instruction permit, right? Yeah. Well, so you've been through driver safety and, I mean, took some driver's education? I mean, it's good to make sure he knows Would what she did like was horrible. No, I don't know. Probably okay. Not. All right. That's good. Good. Was she actually, she, so she wasn't going to school then? Well, she was. Okay. And you were just going to? Yeah. Just going to go with her. Go with her to class or? Yeah. Hang on. Okay. I was trying to talk to him about if he felt any, I was trying to ask him if he thought it was a little scary driving with her or whatever. And I don't know. I don't drive. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, Do you want to see if she'll cooperate with you? I will laugh at that because it does kind of sound dumb. I mean, I just checked But the at the same time, the kid's probably in shock on what just um, happened, maybe. I don't know. Amanda. Do you have my ticket yet? Hi. Hi. How are you doing? That's horrible. So where were you coming from? Your home? My house? Okay. I told him that. Okay. Why are you so upset? Because he f***ed me. Okay. Do you have anything in your pockets that? No, he already went through my pockets. Okay. You Should went through your sweatshirt. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any pants pockets or? No, I don't. Okay. And then who is that to you? That's my family? His family. Okay. Like blood related or? No, I raised him. Okay. Where does he live? With me. Does he drive? He's got a permit. You want to drive him? Home? He can no, stay here and wait for you to let me go. He can, he's fine to stay by himself then. Well, he's 23. He should okay. be. Okay, I'm just wondering. Okay, he's 23. Like, what okay. Do you think? Okay. I probably doesn't feel safe here. You just arrested him. Okay. <laughs> How do I get out of your jail? Um, that'll be up to the judge. What judge? Darcy Rude. <laughs> or her commissioner. Okay, want to talk to Anthony quick before you leave? Um, no. Yeah, let me talk Put to your my foot in. Yeah, um, talk to my little brother. Put your foot in. Yeah, let me talk to my little brother. Um, no. Why? He's 23 years old and he can take care of himself. He should be able to. Go ahead and put but your foot in. But he's probably really scared in this Coon Valley town. He told me last time he was. Why would he be scared? Because it's Coon Valley and he's a black guy. Um, I, I don't think he's... I didn't think he's... I'd be scared. You just arrested me in front of him. Um, because you were you're being dumb out. and driving recklessly. <clears throat> Let me talk to him. <clears throat> you're leaving him here by himself. Actually, I'm not. I'm calling a tow truck so he can go with the tow or not. Why don't you just let me talk to him? Um, can you get a Why are you towing my car? Why are you towing my car? There's no reason to tow my car. He can turn it on right now and drive it. No, he, he can't drive. Yes, he can. No. This lady yeah, don't know the Not law. Me. She clearly just, just doesn't know the law in any sort of way. Let me talk Saying to him. how he can drive the car on his own. Let me talk the to kid, him. The kid, the dude has a let permit. Me. I don't know why I'm saying kid. He's 23. The dude's 20, the dude hey. has a permit. Why are you in my car? You want to just tell me where the drugs are in the car since the dog told us that they're in there? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Okay. Would you mind just turning your pockets inside out for me just to demonstrate to me that you don't have any drugs on you right now? Oh, no, there's the fob. Okay. There's two fobs? Okay. Yeah, I don't have anything on me. I don't do anything. Okay. You don't use any drugs? No. Does Amanda use any drugs? Uh, Sometimes? A covering addict. Okay. What's your drug of choice? Heroin, meth, or something else? Uh, cocaine. Cocaine? Ooh, okay. Okay. Appreciate that. It's not mine. What's that? If you do find anything, it is not mine. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. At, le at, le at least the kid, at least the dude's, uh, you know, being cooperative. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present with you with prior to any questioning, if you wish. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney. You have the right to have the court appoint you on free of charge prior to any questioning if you wish. If you want to answer any questions for me at this time, you may stop answering at any time. Do you understand those rights? Yes. Okay. You want to tell us where the drugs are in the car? There's no drugs. Okay. Nice try though. Were there any in the past at all? I have no idea. Because the dog sure, certainly says that there are. If the dog says there's drugs, then I'll go ahead and try to find them. I have nothing. I have no. There's no drugs that I know of in that car. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. The car's already been searched by state patrol. When? Um, about a week ago. Okay. I got it back from Blystones. They had it impounded illegally. Okay. So, to my knowledge, there's no drugs in that car. The only thing that's drugs in that car is prescribed drugs to me. Okay. Um, have you been taking your medication? What? Have you been taking your medication? I've been taking what's prescribed. Okay. Why, why are you driving 106 to get to school? I woke up late. You're late? I woke up late. Okay. Did it seem at all 
dangerous to you, the no. speed you were traveling, passing cars left and right at my speed? No, I was being safe. I think she might cooperate if you want to adjust her cuffs now. No, 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 put your arm back. It works! I know, I'm Ow! adjusting it. I'm, I'm adjusting it. Off. Put your right hand back behind your back so that it won't hold on the handcuff Why for your left hand. Why are you even cuffed? Don't worry, I'm in the back of your car. This is a very insane one. video, I will say. Okay, don't, don't fall them apart. I can't help it, it hurts. Who you take them off? No, you ain't getting them off. You seem very out of it. There, I loosen them as much as we can. No, you can't. You can read this. Where's your arm? Look how tight this is. Oh my god. Look at this. Here, let me look at it. Look how tight it is! God! You okay. get the two fingers you're supposed yep. to! Yep. I can get both fingers in, so. Yep. Perfectly. Yep. Okay, fine. Yes. I lose. You gotta move your uh, butt to your right. <laughs> you wanna go behind your head? <laughs> Tries to get her yeah. hands out of the cuff. Does Come on been now! In your car that uses narcotics? Like what? Has somebody been in your car, that, somebody that uses narcotics? Yeah. Yes? I'm sorry, who would that have been? Mm -hmm. Mississippi and Jess. Mississippi and Jess. Mm -hmm. Mississippi, Mississippi and Jess. That's the only name I know him by. Okay. Hi there. Ah, this fucking raises her leg. <laughs> These nice officers threw me to the ground. Hi. She's claiming that she needs some medical attention after resisting arrest and having to be decentralized. Yeah, she's just arrest. She's full of shit. She's going to pay with her insurance. Yeah. You know I'm trying to be a teacher, right? So those two charges are going to f*** my career. You're a I'm teacher? Sorry you chose to do what you did this morning. I'm hold sorry. up. You're hold sorry. up. I'm sorry for pausing uh, yet again. But hold up. She says she's a teacher? Damn, girl. I'm sorry, but you're going to lose your job. All right. You should have thought of that when you were clocking 106. Hey, on that road and driving recklessly. God damn, I am sorry to hear that. <laughs> Amanda was charged with felony second degree recklessly endangering safety, misdemeanor counts of resisting failing to stop, and resisting obstructing an officer. She also received citations totaling over $700. Damn! Ultimately, Amanda was found guilty due to a no contest plea only for the misdemeanor charges. The felony charge was dismissed, but read in. Damn, that was, uh... That was quite something, I will say. Like, the lady should have known. I mean, everything that happened, like I said, take it with a grain of salt with what I say. It's just how I'm seeing it right now. That's like, you know, I feel like all that could have been avoided if she just listened to the officer, just did what, she, did what he asked. She wouldn't have been thrown onto the ground. She may have got a ticket, maybe, but, it, but that was a felony for... The reckless driving and stuff, from what I believe he said. So I'm pretty sure she still would have ended up in jail, but it wouldn't have gone down like that. So, yeah, I feel sorry for her brother. Her brother, his little, his son, or whoever he was again to her. I feel sorry for him, just because he had to go through watching all that. Because I've never experienced it myself, but I know it feels... You know, it may be, it may feel scary, upsetting, or whatever, seeing someone in your family go down like that. So yeah, it 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 it, yeah, it was a lot for the dude. I I I can imagine. But yeah, like like I said, guys, y'all y'all be safe out there. You know, drive safely, obey the law, do all that. You know, be safe out there. Because there are a lot of crazy drivers and people like her that think it's okay to just go 106 because she's late for school. But yeah. But thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you do want to go watch the video without me pausing, rambling on, link will be in the description itself. And while you're down there too, links to my socials will also be down there also. Uh, my Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I'll, anyway, I'm all, I'm all, I'm only really active on the Twitter and TikTok, mainly posting videos and stuff. But that's about it. But um, yeah, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more Reaction Mondays and so you don't miss out on hey, Gaming Thursdays. Uh, and if you did like the video, do be sure to hit that like button. So I love you guys. I will see you guys in the next video. And like always, stay awesome. Later, guys. <laughs>